Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. In this frame, we are going to find the collapse load. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the columns, there are no loads. In the beam BC, we have a point load 2W. It is acting in the center. In the joint B, we have a nodal point load W. Column AB is 3 meter long. Column CD is 4 meter long. And the beam BC is 6 meter long. In this frame, we have different plastic movement capacities. For the columns, the plastic movement capacity is MB and for the beam, it is 2MB. In this frame, in the columns, there are no loads, so there will be no column mechanism. In the beam BC, we have a point load, so there will be beam mechanism. Additionally, we will have sway mechanism and combined mechanism. First, let us see the beam mechanism. In this mechanism, we will have plastic hinges in the joints B and C. The third plastic hinge will occur under the point load. In the beam BC, we have a point load which is acting in the center. Since the point load is acting in the center, we will have a symmetrical triangle. So the angles in the point B and C will be same. Let us keep the angles as theta. So this angle should be theta plus theta. We will get 2 theta. Let us keep the displacement under the load as a delta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to delta upon 3. The value of tan theta will be very small. So, tan theta will be approximately equal to theta. In this case, we can take theta is equal to delta upon 3. From that, we will get delta which is equal to 3 theta. Now, let us find the internal work done. We know that we have different plastic movement capacities. For the beam BC, it is 2 MB. For the columns AB and CD, it is MB. In the joint B, we have a plastic hinge. In the joints, we have to be very careful. We have to select the smaller MB value. MB is smaller than 2 MB. So, we have to select MB and then multiply with the angle theta. Under this point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2 MB with the angle 2 theta. In the joint C, we have a plastic hinge. Here also, we have to select the smaller MB. MB is smaller than 2 MB. So, we have to select MB and then multiply with the theta. Then we have to add them. Finally, for the internal work done, we are getting 6 MB theta. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load 2W with the displacement delta. For delta, we can apply 3 theta. After multiplying these two, we are getting the external work done which is equal to 6WC theta. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta and 6. Finally, for the collapse load WC, we are getting MB. Now let us do the survey mechanism. In the survey mechanism, first we have to check the end supports. In the point A, we have a fixed support. 
so there will be a plastic hinge in the point d also we have a fixed support so there will be a plastic hinge then we have to look at the joints there are two joints joint b and joint c in these joints there will be plastic hinges so totally there are four plastic hinges let us keep the sway displacement as delta let us keep this angle as theta 1 so this angle also should be theta 1 let us keep this angle as theta 2 so this angle also should be theta 2 let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 1 is equal to delta upon 3 from that we will get delta which is equal to 3 theta 1 let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 2 is equal to delta upon 4 for delta we can apply 3 theta 1 finally for theta 2 we are getting 0 0.75 theta 1 let us find the internal work done in the point A we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 in the joint B we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 in the joint C we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2 finally in the point D we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2 then we have to add them we know that in the joints we have to select the smaller MB MB is smaller than 2 MB that is why I have selected MB in the joints B and C for theta 2 we can apply 0 0.75 theta 1 after adding these four we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 3.5 MB theta 1 now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load W with the displacement delta for delta we can apply 3 theta 1 finally we are getting the external work done which is equal to 3wc theta 1 now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done we can eliminate theta 1 and we can take 3 on the other side it will come in the denominator finally for wc we are getting 1.17 mb now let us do the combined mechanism in the combined mechanism we have to combine the b mechanism and the sway mechanism in the b mechanism and in the sway mechanism in the joint b we have plastic hinge but in the combined mechanism there will be no plastic hinge in the joint b we will have the plastic hinges in the fixed end a fixed end d under the point load and in the joint C so totally there are four plastic hinges let us keep the angle in the point A as theta 1 in the joint B here we have 90 degree so this angle also should be theta 1 in the beam BC we have a central point load because of that we have a symmetrical triangle if this angle is theta 1 this angle also should be theta 1 so this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 1 we will get 2 theta 1 let us keep the angle in the point D as theta 2 so this angle also should be theta 2 let us keep the beam displacement as a delta and the sway displacement as a delta 1. 
let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 1 is equal to delta upon 3 from that we will get delta which is equal to 3 theta 1 let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 1 is equal to delta 1 upon 3 from that we will get delta 1 which is equal to 3 theta 1 let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 2 is equal to delta 1 upon 4 for delta 1 we can apply 3 theta 1 finally for theta 2 we are getting 0 0.75 theta 1 now let us find the internal work done in the point A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. Under this point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2MB with the angle 2 theta 1. In the joint C, we have a plastic hinge. We have to add these two angles. So, theta 1 plus theta 2 and then multiply with the MB. Finally, in the point D, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Then we have to add all of them. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.75 theta 1. After adding these four, we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 7.5 mb theta 1. Now let us find the external work done. First we have to multiply the load w with the displacement delta 1 and then we have to multiply the load 2w with the displacement delta. Then we have to add them for delta 1, we can apply 3 theta 1 and for delta, we can apply 3 theta 1. After adding these two, we are getting the external work done which is equal to 9wc theta 1. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1 and take 9 on the other side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, for WC, we are getting 0 0.83 MB. We have found WC three times in the beam mechanism, sway mechanism and in the combined mechanism. We have to select the minimum value. 0 0.83 is the minimum value. So, the combined mechanism is the real mechanism. And the collapse load WC is 0 0.83 MB. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.